For weaving, you're going to need some raffia, some scissors, and a needle. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to weave using a circle and using a oval shape. The needle on the left here is a sewing needle, and you'll notice that it has a very sharp point. I would recommend avoiding these. The needle on your right is a yarning or embroidery needle. These have a round tip and are much more safer to use. For this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to weave in a circle motion. So to start off, you're going to require six lengths of raffia at arm's length and one piece of raffia at arm's length. What you are going to do is you are going to take your six pieces and you are going to wrap them into a circle like this. You are going to take the tail of your thread. You can see I've got my needle at this end. I'm going to take my tail and I'm going to add that to my circle just here so that its tail joins the tail of the body. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to place it through the middle of the circle and you'll notice that the thread that I am working with creates a tail. I'm going to put my needle through the back of that one. This first stitch is to anchor everything together so that nothing moves. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through the middle of my circle and I'm going to go through the back of my loop. And each stitch that I do should be side by side and when I tighten I should be tightening away from my circle. I'm going to do that again through the front of my circle, through the back of my tail. And when I tighten, I am tightening away from my circle and each stitch is side by side. I'm going to do that two more times through the front, through the back of my tail and tightening it side by side through the front, through the back, and tightening. Okay, so you can see here that my stitches are side by side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce the size of this circle by pulling my tail so it pulls in nice and close. Okay, I'm going to cut off this smaller tail and I'll explain in just a moment why I'm doing that. I'm going to continue my stitches until I come back to this point here going through the circle and then through the back of my tail okay so the reason that I cut off the other side of my body tail is once you get to this point you want to bring your body around in a curving motion and if I didn't cut it off I would then have 12 strands of body that I'd have to stitch over. So cutting that off just means I'm back to my, I'm remaining at my six pieces of um, raffia. So our first lot of stitches all went through the middle of our circle. From now on, each of our stitches is going to go through the knot in the stitch below. So here you can see um, my knots. So each stitch is going to go through one of these. Okay. For the first one, because I need to bring my raffia from coming out to coming to the side, I need to go through my first knot and do a number of stitches until it comes over the top. So through my first knot, there's my loop going through the back of my loop. And pulling it tight and always pulling away from our circle that's what's going to keep it nice and flat so I need to bring this point up the top so I'm going to go through that same stitch hole that I just went through again through my tail and pulling it tight I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go through the same stitch hole. And if your stitches are nice and tight, it'll make it pretty hard to pull a needle through. Just pull it through and then through the back of our tail. 
and then pulling her tight. So you can see now my thread is now pointing up and my tail is now tucked to the side. So I'm now going to go into my next stitch hole. So the next knot from my stitch below, which is just here. And then through my tail. Pulling it tight away from our circle. Okay, so just a little bit of a close-up. When I'm referring to the stitch knots of the ones below, I'm referring to all of these little holes here where your stitch knots overlap. Okay, so my next one would be go would be going through that part here. Okay, so you can kind of see where the light shines through in between each of those knots. That's where I'd be doing my stitches. Okay, when you run out of weaving thread, what we're going to do is we're going to have to replace it. So leave yourself a little tail, and that tail tucks in with your body. You're going to take your new thread, and you're going to take the tail of the new thread and add that to the body as well. Now we want our new thread to come out from where our previous thread was just weaved. So we're going to place our needle through the back of the knot below. And our thread is now coming out from the same direction it once was. Okay, We're going to continue to weave as normal through the next knot below. And then through the tail and then pulling it tight. Here it's important to remember that these two tails that you've just tucked in, make sure that they're tight to the left before you fully tighten that first stitch down. It's going to make sure that this part here is not loose. Okay, and we're going to continue as normal. So through the next knot, and then through your tail, tightening it away from the circle to keep it flat okay now something else to remember if your stitches are starting to be very far apart or you'll notice here that my stitches to the side are not facing straight from the middle of my circle I can do two stitches in the same knot so go through the same knot and then through the tail and then tighten off this will make sure that your knots are nice and tight together and it allows additional stitches as your weaving gets larger. Okay, so we've been weaving for a little while and you now notice that from your body, some of your body is now starting to finish off. And you need to maintain the same amount of body thread as you did when you started. Otherwise, your weaving will start to be thin and thick. So I need to add two more uh, body threads in to replace these two that are finishing. All you do is take two new pieces at arm's length place them in the middle of your already existing body threads holding it tight so that they don't fall out continue to weave and as you weave over they will secure in place okay weave through the front and then through your tail and after a few weaves they will become part of that body. Okay, so you've been weaving for a while, you're now ready to finish off your piece. What you need to do is you need to trim your body, starting at the top lot of threads here, and gradually make them a little bit longer each time until you get to the end. So it's a gradual stop. So I have some short, some medium, and a couple of long ones. I'm going to weave to the end like normal, so through the knot below and through my tail. Because my body is now getting skinnier as I come down, my stitching is going to get closer to the circle. Through the next knot, through the back of the tail, making it nice and tight, through the next one, through my tail. Nice and tight. Through the last one. Through my tail. You can sort of see that my stitching has come in closer 
to my circle. I'm going to do one more. Now, what you're going to do is take your needle and thread. You are going to skip the knot that you just made. You're going to go through the next one. So underneath that stitch, underneath the next one, and then underneath the next one. So you're going underneath three stitches, which can be a little bit tricky. There we are. So not the first one, but your consecutive three after that. <clears throat> and you're going to pull it through. Don't over tighten this because you don't want to pull all of your weaving back in the opposite direction. But you can see there, I've gone under three stitches. I'm going to skip the first stitch here and I'm going to go back under the previous two that I've gone under. Again, don't pull it too tight because you'll pull all of your weaving to the side. And then that little tail just gets trimmed off. There you have it. For this next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to weave in an oval. So the same as a circle, we're going to take six pieces of raffia at arm's length. And we're going to take another piece of raffia at arm's length as our weaving thread. To start off with, we're just going to tie a knot to anchor our thread to our body so it doesn't move. Place that tail to the left with your weaving thread to the front. You are going to just place your thread off to the side, create a little loop, hold it in place, take your needle and come from behind to create your first blanket stitch. Tightening it so that it is side by side with your anchor stitch. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hold that to the side. I'm going to create a loop. And then I'm going to come through the back of that loop with my needle. And I'm going to tighten that so that that next stitch is the right next to my previous stitch. I'm going to do this several times. Now depending on how many stitches you do here will determine how circular or how long an ovula your oval is going to be. So once you get here and you're happy we're going to tuck our body in so that it starts to curve around. We now need to create a series of stitches to come around this loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my needle through the gap here. And then through the back of my tail. And this is just to get a series of knots that come around on a curve. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to go through the gap. And then through the back of my tail. Just so it ha helps that curve. Okay. Once I'm happy with my curve, I'm now going to... join this body to this body so to do that and this can be very tricky hold your thread off to the left again so it's in the right place I'm going to place my needle through the knot of the stitch below on my straight edge I'm going to pull that through and you'll notice that this thread is at the front I want to hold that in place while I place my needle through the back of my loop like normal and then I'm just going to pull that tight now this is probably the trickiest stitch because it's the first one that anchors them together and then just placing them together and you'll see that it creates a stitch that joins the two together I'm going to do the same thing but into the next stitch so I'm just going to hold that over there so it stays in place for me I'm going to place my needle through the knot in the stitch below. I'm going to pull it through. 
there's my loop put my needle through the back of my loop and then tightening it in okay and you can see that my body is now getting pulled close to the previous line I'm going to do that all the way to the end so through the knot below and then through the back of my tail and then pulling it tight I'm going to go all the way until I meet this same knot at the start okay once you've got your stitches up to your very first one here we now need to do the curved stitches on this end to make this easier we need to remove this bulk of thread here so we're going to trim it off but we're not going to trim too close otherwise our first lot of stitches are going to fall off so close but not too close that's just going to reduce the excess amount of thread coming around into a curve here so i'm going to curve my raffia but i'm still going to stitch in between here so i'm just going around this body so i'm going to place my needle through the middle here here's my loop through the back of my tail and i'm going to do that four or five times until i come back around on a curve through the gap through my tail so see it's starting to curve so I'm still going through that gap I'm literally just going around that body if I pull it out straight you'll see I'm just going around that body I'm just holding it in a curve so that I can see how many stitches I need to sort of make pulling that tight all right once you're happy with how many stitches you have on your curve we're going to now start our first round so this is just like when we do our circle we have all of our knots here and you can see the gap between our knots I'm going to go through the very first knot here and then I'm going to go through my tail and I'm going to pull it tight you will notice just like in my circle I need to bring this stitch from pointing out to the side to pointing up here so I'm going to go back through that same first stitch hole and then through my tail and pulling it tight that way I can bring my thread up to a straight point I'm going to do that one more time so going back through that same stitch back through your tail and then pulling it tight pulling it tight away from your weave so not up but away so now you can see my stitch my thread is going in the same direction as my first row now I'm going to continue to stitch around because this is straight I only need one stitch per knot when I come to my curved end because this is a very tight curve I need to do two stitches per knot around my bend otherwise it'll be too gappy and it'll start to curl over because there won't be enough stitches to make it around that turn changing and adding thread is the same as a circle happy weaving hi guys here's some little tips if you're finding it hard to stitch the first piece of your circle raffia why not just tie a knot instead of weaving it and if you're still finding it tricky to do this maybe have a friend hold it for you while you tie your knot just make sure that once you've tied your knot that the tail is going to the left and your thread is facing upwards ready for your first stitch by needle the starting point of your weave is the most important thing so if this isn't started right then the consecutive weaves aren't going to look very nice so things to be careful of make sure that your weaving is nice and tight to start off with okay if it's loose all of your next lot of weaves are going to be loose because you're not going to be able to tighten them in make sure that each of your knots are actually coming around the edge of your weave and not wonky so not coming backwards and forwards so you want to change color from your first your thread that you're currently working with this is the same process as, as adding a thread so all you need to do is take the tail of your previous one add that to your body take the tail of your new thread add that to your body 
and then you want this thread to come out the same direction of your previous thread so we're just going to place our needle through our previous loop and then continue stitching like normal so needle through the next stitch below and then needle through the back of your loop pulling it tight making sure that both of these threads are pulled nice to the side nice and tight before securing that stitch down it'll make sure that this bump is not sticking out and away you go okay if your weaving's looking like this and it feels really really loose and uh, sorry really gappy like lots of holes it's probably because you have only a few pieces of raffia in your body so you really want to make sure that you've got quite a few pieces of raffia in the body of your weave so in this one there are two and in this one there are six so you can kind of see there are a lot less gaps okay so you're now ready to start weaving your item into a bowl so what we've been doing is tightening away from our re uh, uh, weaving that's going to keep it nice and flat like this to get it to curve what you need to do is when you tighten your stitch you want to tighten towards yourself okay and you will notice within the first few stitches how much of a curve already starts to develop all right through the back and when you tighten tighten towards yourself i like to use my thumb just to hold it in place while i tighten it okay i'm going to do a couple of stitches here just to show you how much it already starts to curve in just a few stitches tightening it toward yourself so you can see there is already starting to curve even within just the first few stitches so there you are if you want it to go straight up and down like this one do not create any additional stitches continue to do one stitch per knot below if you want it to come out at a 45 degree angle you will need to create a dozen additional stitches per lap around increasing that dozen stitches the higher you go up because the further out your bowl will be happy stitching